Let me show you the hottest AI workflow right now. The new Start and End Frames feature in Clink AI gives you precise control over every frame of your AI film. Combining it with Nano Banana or Sea Dream 4 feels like pure magic. Use Nano Banana to create different shots and angles of your character and stick them together using the Clink AI's keyframe feature. With this workflow, it's possible to have highly controllable cinematic camera movements like camera fly throughs, mind bending transformations, and viral video effects with just two images. To achieve these smooth transformations, we need two images with the same consistent character. Let me show you how. Let's start with the transformation video. I go to Gemini, upload the photo of my character, and then I said, change her hair to long black with the hair design. And then Gemini gave me the last frame, so I can actually connect these frames and create a smooth transformation effect. To stitch them together, all you need to do is visiting Clink AI, select image to video and new frames feature, upload your start frame and end frame, just like this. When it comes to prompting, I always start with smooth transformation, and after that, I add and specify what kind of transformation I want to see. For example, here I had the smooth transformation of hair, outfit and eight change. So you can simply use this prompt structure. You can always start with smooth transformation. And in the second part, you can specify what kind of change you want to see between frames. You can even add a camera motion or a very specific type of transition. Here in this example, I had a smooth transformation of hair, outfit and age change together. Here I prompted smooth transformation of scene to a studio and a fan comes into frame. So I'm really specifying that what kind of change I want to see and I'm also describing what kind of event I want to see. In this next one, I'm adding a camera motion to the transformation. So there is a change of outfit and scenery together with an orbiting camera. In this example, I started with famous painting, girl with a pearl earring. Then using this prompt, I brought her to a cafe that she's drinking a coffee. And to create the last frame, I went to the Gemini and I wrote, now bring her to a postmodern art gallery. She's standing with full body shot and make the scene more photorealistic. And now I have the same character standing on an art gallery and this will be my last frame. And only thing I need to do is now connecting this with a smooth transition, and that's where Clink AI comes in. I have smooth transformation of scene while camera is orbiting with colorful smooth transition. So I can even specify what kind of transition I want to see. And Clink AI will simply connect these frames and give me exactly what I need. The next thing I want to show you is how to create a small cinematic clip using Clink AI's frames feature. So in the mini film you saw in the intro, I use again both Nano Banana on Gemini together with Clink AI. And I started with this initial image of my character created using Mid Journey. But what I needed was to create a seamless integration of a storyline where dog is walking among debris searching for someone. And Clink AI's frames feature is perfect for this job because it literally allows you to direct the dog in the direction you want. But for this job, we definitely see this character and situation from different angles. So in this example, I wrote, show me behind the shoulder view of this dog walking among debris. And I don't want any human in the frame. So this is what Nano Banana gave me. After that, to advance the story, I use this prompt format. Show me the next scene. Then I specify what I want to see. Dog walks further, goes out from debris, turns right. And there are other destroyed buildings around. So keep the location consistent. The show me the next scene is a very powerful prompt structure then you use it in AI filmmaking while generating your next frame. Another very powerful prompting structure for Nano Banana is show me 10 minutes walk distance location behind the shoulder view of this dog walking among the breeze. So show me 10 minutes walk distance. You are literally creating your timeline here step by step and then you can set how far in the future your frame to take place and this will allow you to advance the story very quickly. And when you want to create this kind of cinematic shots, it's very important that you have a last frame. 
So for this job, I use change the perspective to a high angle, looking down from a ball as if from top of a tree, and dog is running towards the building in the corner. So here I specified what kind of camera angle I want to have. And once I have these two angles, one on the surface level of the dog walking on the street, and one from high angle, then it's very easy to connect these shots using Clink AI. I like to use this format. Camera starts focusing on the dog on street level, then camera climbs to a high angle, tracks dog approaching to the building. So I really specify where the camera starts and then what happens, what do we reveal in the end. This really helps Clink AI to perfectly match and give you exact camera motion you want. So you can use this prompt format very often. In a similar example, in the beginning of this video, I used camera starts focusing on firefighter, then it slowly moves to another location in another town revealing the breeze. Reason I use the keywords another location or another town is to just to create some kind of distance between my initial focus and the focus which will come later. So if you really want camera to go in a higher distance, I would highly recommend you to mention camera slowly moves to another location in your prompt to specify that the last frame of this video is going to be in a far distance so that camera can travel as far as possible. And in this example, this shot will be introduction of my character. And for that, I have this initial frame and the dog, which will be introduced in the story. And I wrote camera starts focusing on the breeze. Then it orbits and reveals our main character, the dog. So I created the whole shooting plan for the clink. We start with the focusing on the breeze, then camera orbits and reveals our character. So this is how you can direct your AI films frame by frame and also incorporate exact camera motion you want. In this case, it was camera orbit. And of course, one of my all time favorite camera trick is using the keywords camera tracks dog running forward to another location. You can say camera follows the dog or tracks the dog to ensure that camera will follow the dog and last frame will be where camera stops its tracking. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about future of AI storytelling, click here.